guys and welcome back to another tier list. Um, this time we are doing a Marvel movies tier list. I have seen all of these movies so I'm not going to be like biased towards any. Um, I mean I obviously I've got my own opinion so I might prefer something whereas you guys might prefer something completely different. Um, but as you can see I've not changed really the rankings here. Um, S is the best, A is obviously like second best, and then it goes down to D, which is the worst. Um, they're not in any particular order, um, and I don't know, I think there might be a few movies that I'm missing, but I'm not 100% sure, because I can't think off the top of my head which ones are, aren't are here, but I've just found this on to tiermaker.com, so if you want to do a tier list yourself, go on to this website. Um... But first up is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Um, Guardians Galaxy Volume 2, I thought, was a very funny movie. Um, the only thing was, I thought the actual... If it wasn't because of how funny the film was, I wouldn't put it as high as what it is. Um, because I didn't think it was actually that great of a film, but it was very funny. Um, but I would put this out of mid-range because the fact, like, how funny that film was. I, I was laughing all the way through that film. And, like, I remember at the time thinking, oh, it's such a good film. But I watched it again and I was like, actually, it's not that amazing of a film. I mean, like, hands down, most of these films, like, this is, a, like, a normal film level. And Marvel movies, like, at a bad level is normally above it. Um... Like, I rank Marvel movies way up, so even if it's in the D tier, it's still worth watching because, that like, Marvel movies are so good to watch. Um, but yeah, like, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, like, all these films definitely worth watching, especially if you want to know what's going on. Um, but it wasn't, like, the, it wasn't the best of the best, but it wasn't the worst, like... <laughs> I would definitely watch it again. That's what I can't be as like. I will will actually name this. So this is best of the best. This is a must watch. And really good. This will be wood pick again, and then this will be watch if it's on, and then this one is not bothered. Watch, but no, I'll put it watch, but won't watch again. Like, I mean, even, like, these films, like, the first time watching it, it can be really good. Like, Ant-Man, really good film, and I will watch it if it's on, but I wouldn't pick it again. Like, like I've watched that once, and, like, I mean, most of these I would probably watch again, but I'm only watching because I want to watch these in order. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron, um, Age of Ultron. Um, was probably, it was definitely the worst Avengers movie, but I definitely would watch it again, um, mainly because of all the superheroes that are in it, um, but I wouldn't say, like, it's a great movie, because it, it's not by far, um, this, like, is the worst one out of them all, um, but I would definitely watch it again. Avenge, the first Avengers film, um, I, it's definitely a must-watch and really good because this was the first offend Marvel film to actually like properly show multiple characters on the screen. Like it was so good at the time, um, and I remember when I saw this, I was like, "Wow!" Like I'll never get bored of this movie. And then, like in my opinion, they just a lot of the films got better and better. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, 
I def I would probably say is a must watch. I actually really like this film. Um, a lot of people don't like Ant Man. I think Ant Man's a cool character, and this film was just a lot better in my opinion. It was quite interesting. Um, also, the introduction of Wasp, um, which was quite cool, and um, it also like this was the part of the films that leads up to the last like film really. Um, and all these films, in my opinion, were really good. So, Black Panther's next. Um, Black Panther, in my opinion, I wasn't expecting anything really good from this. Um, wasn't really bothered. Like his suit, but I uh, didn't think he was an interesting superhero. But I actually think this was a must-watch. Um, this was really good. Like... I actually shocked myself by how into it I was. Um, I was expecting this to be like a film I watch because I watch every Marvel film and like because I want to know what's going on, but I didn't expect me to want to watch it again. Um, and like actually, like some of these films, like I would watch again, um, but not necessarily like be like, oh yeah, I must watch it again, like, um, Captain America, the first Avenger, this one, I would, I would watch again, um, I wouldn't say it's, like, the best of the best, but I would watch again, it was quite a good film, um, not my favourite Captain America film by far, um, but it was very good, um, and obviously, like, most of the introductions are, like, a watch. Um, Captain America Civil War, this was a must-watch for me. Um, the only thing that lets it down for me is the fight they have. It's amazing visually, but when you think how big that fight is at the time, like, Iron Man and his gang going against Captain America and his gang, really... There should be a lot more affected in that. Like, if they really went for it, someone would die in that. Um, and that's what lets it down, in my opinion. Like, I think it's so big. Like, for nothing really to happen um, in that fight, other than, like, obviously Captain America and Tony Stark fall out. Um, that it's, like, it's good visually one of the best films, and has one of the best fight scenes in it, but, like, in my opinion, it's not realistic in the film, and um, that's what let it down for me, but I would definitely watch it again. Um, Captain Marvel, I would watch if it's on. Um, actually, I don't even know if I would watch it if it was on. Um... No, I probably wouldn't. I'm just not interested in Captain Marvel. Um, a similar reason, like, why I don't like Superman in DC is because I just find she's such a powerful character and it's, like, a bit boring to watch. Um, but I would, like, it's still a good film. Um, I was actually more impressed with it than I thought, but I still wouldn't, like... I probably would watch it if it's on again, but it's not like, it wouldn't shock me if I switched. Like, say, if it came on TV and I switched the channel because I'm not bothered about watching it. Whereas Ant-Man, I would probably watch it if it was on TV. Um, <clears throat> for Dark World, a lot of people don't like this film. And I admit, like, the film itself wasn't good. Um, like, it wasn't that amazing, but it has one of my favourite scenes from a Marvel film. The scene where, um, Loki is just, like, switching between heroes and that is just so funny. Um, and, like, I didn't actually mind the film that much. Um, I would definitely watch it if it was on. Um, but I do think I agree with them, like, it could have been way better, um. Doctor Strange, I would watch again, um, it's 
only thing that I have against Doctor Strange is, in my opinion, it was where what I think Marvel do really well is they know how to joke and take a film seriously as well. Um, whereas, like, the DC films are very serious. It's very... Um, um, like, but Doctor Strange was, like, that for me. Um, visually amazing. Um, really cool character. But I didn't feel like there was that funny side from all the other films. Um, and <clears throat> that's what I think was missing. But I would, like, it was an amazing film and definitely, I mean, I have watched it again. So, um, I would definitely recommend it. So this is, the next one up is Avengers Endgame. I mean, if you don't put this best of the best, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not saying that there's not problems with it. There's problems with every single film. Like for me, like yes, a massive character dies at the end. But in a battle that's meant to be like, well, it's called Endgame. Um. Not enough people are lost in it, in my opinion. Like, I'm not saying all of the main superheroes have to go, um, but, like, there's a few that are like, oh, yeah, well, side characters that should have died, um, because this is meant to be the War of Wars, basically. Um, but overall, an amazing film. They revisit a lot of the old ones, and... Um, it is like, like I've watched it three times, and that's that's nowhere near compared to a lot of my friends. Um, the only reason I haven't watched it a lot is because I just haven't had access to it. Um, but a lot, like I know one of my friends, when it came out on DVD, um, he watched it probably about every day for about two weeks. Um. But my, like, I went to the cinema and watched this four times, was it? Or a bit less? No, I went to the cinema and watched this one once. Um, because I just didn't have the time at the time to go see it. But I did think it was a really good film. Um, but yeah, this film is definitely what I would say is the best. Mm, would I? I don't know. It was. It is definitely up there, and it is amazing. Like revisits all the older films. Um, really cool, and really good. The next up is Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is. Oh, do I put it at the top? Do I put it down here. Let's see, I don't know. I'm going to put best of the best. This film is really good. It introduces one of the most powerful villains that we've seen in a film. Um, and, like, literally, this is such a good film. Um, it's, it's really funny. Um, the film is really good. It breaks down, like, this film is basically, like, breaking down for... Um, and it's so, it's so, like, good. I wish, if there was one, like, solo film that I recommend people to watch, it would definitely be this one. Um, because it's just visually amazing. The story's pretty good. Um, and there's, lo like, so many characters in it that are, like, you didn't even expect to be in that. Um... Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. This one would be a must-watch. It is, it is really good. Um, I didn't really know a lot about the Guardians of the Galaxy before this film came out, and I was not expecting anything good from it. But I actually, like, I was shocked. This film was so good. It, definitely one of the best Marvel movies out there. Um, and, like, that five just amazing I was like like I was looking at it and I was like oh, Drax looks like a bit of a boring character no he's actually really funny Groot's just like 
it's weird how you can make someone saying I am Groot so interesting. Um, but yeah, really good film. Um, the second one's definitely more funny. Um, but the first one, the storyline, is really, really good. Uh, next up is the Incredible Hulk film. Um, it does in line with all the films, but it doesn't really, because the actor that plays on this is completely different to actually plays Hulk in the Avengers. Um, but, again, a good film. Um, like, definitely worth a watch, but I wouldn't, I would definitely flick past this film. It's, it is the worst film that was recorded, and this was just before, like, they actually started making the, like, really high quality movies. Um, but again, still a good movie. Um, just wouldn't watch it again. Um, Iron Man, even, even though I would definitely skip it now. I would only skip it because I've seen it so many times because it's been on TV literally every day. Um, but I would definitely watch it if it's on. Um, a lot of people probably would rate this Iron Man movie higher. Um, but the reason I don't is because Iron Man, again, isn't my biggest interest. I'm not that bothered about him. Um, I think he's cool in the Avengers. And his films are good. I just Iron Man as a superhero doesn't in interest me. Um, Iron Man two, however, um, I quite liked. I'm gonna put it would pick again. Um, not like an amazing. Like some people probably prefer the original, but I quite liked. Like a lot of the scenes in this, I like, and it introduced a few more characters. Iron Man 3, I would watch if it was on. Um, I can't really remember what went on in Iron Man 3. That's why I wouldn't put any higher. Um, like, I'm, I know one scene where his house gets attacked. Um, well, that's about it, I remember, of that film. Um, but, yeah. It means still a really good film. Just not... Iron Man's not my, like, cup of tea, really. Um, Avengers Infinity War, definitely best of the best. In my opinion, I probably prefer this film over Endgame. I know Endgame was really good, but Infinity War for me was just the next quality. Like, it was the one before it, but oh my god, it was so good. That fight scene in Wakanda as well is one of the best scenes I've ever seen. Like, to see that on screen is amazing. Um, I mean, to be fair, all the film, I went and saw this film four times in one week. Like, and that was at the cinema. Um, that's how ridiculous it was. Like, literally... The day I saw it, I booked tickets the next day for it, because um, it was just so good, um, and, like, it, like, it's, it, I think it's about three hours long, this film, doesn't feel like it, I felt like I was there for an hour, went and saw it with a bunch of friends, we all said the same, went and saw it with my dad, he f felt the same, and he's not even, like, as big of Marvel fan as like uh, me and my friends are, like, but yeah, we all were shocked by it. Um, so next up um, is the first four film. I would probably watch if it was on. Um, I don't know actually. I'm going to put these two, this is my opinion, obviously these two are good films, but I think, like, compared to the rest, I wouldn't put them up there, um, like, this is an introduction to them all, I think Captain Mar America's introduction was the best film for an introduction, um, well, actually Black Panther, but... 
um, for all the first films that came out, Captain America was. Um, Iron Man just never really bothered me, and for like, there wasn't enough happening in that film, in my opinion. Um, I know it's like introducing four, and it does a good job of it, um, but just not my my favorite. Spider Man Homecoming, um, Homecoming, is definitely a must watch. Um, this film's really good, and um, Tom Holland playing Spider Man is he's the perfect person to play Spider Man in my opinion. Um, really good actor. Um, he brings out the best in Spider Man and also Peter Parker, um, and I. Like, I was really impressed with this film. It took me a long time to go see this one. Um, mainly just because I was busy in that at the time, but really, really good. Um, next film is Spider-Man Far From Home. This film is, for me, up there with the best of the best. Like, if I was going to rank these films... I would put Infinity War top. I would probably actually put Spider-Man above Endgame. Just because I really liked the... Um, the villain in this game was, like, my favourite. Um, it was, like, really interesting. Didn't have any, like... I think they made Mysterio really interested in this film. Um, because he doesn't actually have any superpowers. He's just really good with technology and his team is. Um, but I found this really interesting. Um, and, like, visually amazing. And, like, I think the reason as well, I am definitely biased to Spider-Man. Spider-Man's my, like, favourite superhero, no doubt. Um, but I loved this film so much. Um, Captain America went to Soldier. Um, this is up there with Best of the Best. Um, such a good film. Has like some of the best fight scenes in it. Um, and it, like, yeah, it's just really good. Like Some people put Civil War above this film, but I think Winter Soldier's a better film. But Civil War does have that massive battle. That's why it's hyped so much. Um, but hands of a doubt, like, any of these films... If you haven't seen them, watch them. Um, <clears throat> obviously, start off with what I would watch them all in order. Um, you can get like they don't come out in order in the years, um, but like first of all, you want to watch Captain America because that happens like way before any of this. Um, then you would want to watch like Hulk um, stuff like I think it's Iron Man next, and then four. Um, but yeah, like it's they're all really good, all worth watching. Um, and like, hands down, if I was doing a tier list of best films, these would all be in top tiers. It's just the fact that I'm ranking Marvel films. Um, like, say if I was putting most of the other films that are, like out there at the moment, the four film. Better than most films. Captain Marvel, better than most films. Um, just Marvel films are so high quality that I had to like rank them in my opinion. Um, but anyway, that's all for this tier list. Let me know what you guys think was your favourite Marvel movie. And also, which one was your worst movie. And then, don't forget to like and subscribe the video. But we'll see you next time.